this channel or welcome to this channel if you're new here. My name is Maggie and I post health and wellness videos Monday through Friday. So make sure you click the little red button below this video and subscribe because I would love to have you here as part of the YouTube family. And today I bring to you what I eat in a day as a vegan while I track my calories and macros on chronometer. So I hope to make a little bit different meals that I have in the past uh, what I eat in a day videos and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get to it. All right, friends, I'm going to tell you what I'm putting inside my acai bowl, which is going to be one frozen banana, some frozen berries, and I typically go for frozen fruit because I just find that the acai bowl is thicker, some strawberries, and I just really like it cold, even though it's still winter here, but I still go for cold, over warm sometimes, spinach, and then I have three different types of powder. The very first powder that I have is some spirulina. And then the two other powders that I have is an acai powder as well as some maca powder. And an acai powder, you could get it in a frozen little packs or you could get it in the powder as well. And then a little bit of water to kind of let it blend better and make it smooth and creamy. <laughs> Is completed for breakfast and you guys seen everything that went inside it there's spirulina maca berries and I'm really really excited it is making my hands cold though sometimes um, when oh it's dripping <laughs> sometimes like I'll have an acai bowl and I will put like a towel underneath because I like holding my bowl when I'm eating it um, just so my hand doesn't freeze um, because yet yeah, we are still in winter like I said but I also wanted to share with you guys my chronometer. I put everything in here and just wanted to briefly go over it and show you where I am just after breakfast. I also had two mini uh, brownie date balls that you guys probably seen. If you didn't, I made a recipe on those with dates and walnuts, vanilla extract and things like that. So you could go back and look at that or I'll link it in the description. But anyways, so I have thus far just from those two energy balls and this acai powder, I have reached 34% of my micro and macro nutrients, vitamins, minerals, things like that. Um, so that's pretty good because you know there's 100% and just after one meal to reach 34% I would say it's pretty good. Um, I also want to say that every day is different so some days I might reach 85%, one day I might reach 90 another day I might reach 100%. So there's no set in stone, but my target and my goal is always to get as close as possible to 100 as I can. So um, I'm going to take you guys through this right now so you guys could see it. So as you see, today is March 20th. I have ate 870 calories, 34% of my targets reached. I've had 32 ounces of water, the two energy balls that I told you about, then the food. And so then when you go on to the nutrition summary for the targets I would say I am uh, looking pretty good so these are all the vitamins and fats and things like that so but yeah looks pretty good so that's meal one so it's finally lunchtime and I'm kind of trying out a different angle and seeing how this is gonna be but I kind of don't like that I have to bend down, but at the same time, I always feel like all of my videos are like right there by the cabinets. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna play around and see how this works out. But here I have my lunch, which is the base of it is one baked sweet potato. And then I'm gonna top it with all these toppings. And yeah, that's gonna be my lunch. So I have one sweet potato, like I said here. And then I also have sauerkraut. I love raw sauerkraut. It, it tastes just so good. It also has like a very salty taste to it. Then I steamed some broccoli. I love some good broccoli. We are actually already running really low on fruit and veggies and it's only Wednesday and we go shopping on Fridays. So it should be interesting as to what kind of meal I'll make for dinner today. I'm also adding some red cabbage 
And then on top of everything, I'm going to put a little bit of this salsa because, you know, why not? We just got it at Costco. It's from New Mexico. We got like three salsas for $9.99. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And then my homemade hummus, going to put it on the sweet potato. Um, the only thing that I am not counting the calories for is the hummus because that's one thing that I completely forgot to uh, write down in my chronometer as a recipe. So there's like tahini, lemon, garlic, paprika, and garbanzo beans, but I'm just not going to count that into my chronometer. But uh, everything else will be in my chronometer. But yeah, this is going to be my beautiful lunch. I'm gonna get my phone and I'm gonna show you guys how we're doing on all the nutrition. All right, guys, so as you've seen, um, after breakfast, we had 34% and now post lunch, we are at 61%. So I feel like we are doing really good. This is all our vitamins. So the green ones means that I have already hit them thus far and the yellow means that I'm close to it. Um, of course, vitamin D is something that we need to supplement, especially being in the cold climates like here in Colorado, the Midwest, and things like that. And it's looking pretty good. And that is going to be lunch. And we are currently at 1,265 calories, which honestly I don't really pay attention to, but for anyone that would want to look at that, protein, 30, carbs, fat, there you have it. I am back with my afternoon snack, which is a berry oatmeal, which I like to think of it as a berry pie. So when you are really short on time and don't really want to whip out, you know, your food processor and your mixer and things like that and make an actual pie, you just make this. So it's oats with a banana milk, berries, strawberries, blueberries specifically, hemp seeds on top, as well as some pumpkin seeds. And it is so good, so satisfying. I know it's a little bit odd to have oatmeal as a snack, especially considering it's like 4.30 right now. Um, but to me, it really does not matter the time of the day, the day of the week, I could eat it breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, and I'll be so satisfied and just so, so happy. Um, but today's also the first day of spring. It's March 20th, so I just wanted to wish you guys a lovely spring. And if you haven't set new intentions and new goals for this season, make sure you do so because it is never late to do that. But I'm going to now jump into my phone and show you the chronometer and see how far we are with all our macronutrients and things like that. So let's get my phone and I'll show you guys. All right, as you can see, my right hand is covered with um, stained foam of blueberries, but it's all cool. So our target earlier, we were at 61 after lunch, and right now we are at 73, which that's pretty good. We're getting more of our vitamins, and we're, we seem to be on target. We still need to get our proteins, and it looks like some omegas, zinc, so I guess we'll see if we do it today. 73 so far, I would say that's pretty good, and 1,730 calories. So that's where we are thus far. So as I make my dinner tonight, I'm going to have a couple of these brownie balls. I'll make sure to leave a link to the recipe in the description below this video, so go ahead and check that out. And if you haven't already made this, I suggest you do because they're so delicious. You could just put them in your fridge and they keep good for like a week. So even longer if you freeze it. But yeah, so I'm going to snack on this while I make dinner. Last meal of the day and that is dinner and here I have a beautiful plate of food or whatever is left in the fridge because like I said earlier we are running really low on food so our fridge is pretty pretty minimal there's just like almond butter left corn tortillas almond tortillas salsa 
and just a really miscellaneous things. But I still managed to whip up this dinner with some tempeh with coconut aminos, this almond flour tortilla, which they're really, really good, and I highly recommend you guys get your hands on these, with some homemade hummus, which once again, I said I can't put that in my chronometer because I didn't put the recipe in my chronometer, so therefore I'm just omitting it but I'm still eating it. And then some quinoa with green peas and salsa and half a tomato. So like I said, running really low on food supplies, but I still managed to whip up this beauty. So I'm gonna dive into this and also show you guys on chronometer how we did today. So once I put everything into chronometer after my brownie date balls that you guys seen as my snack, and my the dinner right now that I showed you guys, I am at 2,400 calories approximately, 82% of my targets, which is not ideal. I would want that closer to be 100, but that's what we're working with today, and that's fine. Some days will be better than others. And then, once again, if we look at green, that's what we um, were able to get, and the yellow is what I wasn't able to get. And the biggest one I want to show you guys is the vitamin D because I typically um, supplement with that but I am just waiting for my order from Amazon so that's the only one that's really lacking. Selenium, I typically take a Brazil nut for that and yeah, omega 6 a little low and then a little bit low on the proteins but I think that all attributes to the fact that I'm running really low on food and I'm doing the best that I can what, with what I have in the fridge. And I also wanted to show you guys the proteins that I am currently taking and that is this raw zinc from Garden of Life. I'm specifically taking this one because um, currently, uh, well currently, for the past two years that is I was suffering with acne so I decided to do some research and it said that zinc might help so I invested some money in it and that's what I've been using recently. And then the other supplement that I use is a vitamin B12 spray, which honestly, no matter whether you're vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto, carnivore, everyone should be supplementing with vitamin B12 because all of our soils are depleted of this nutrient. In addition to this, I would also take vitamin D, like I said, and that's vitamin D3, which is vegan, but I'm still waiting for that order. And that is pretty much it. So as you guys see, today's day wasn't really optimal or ideal with the targets, but I want to be very transparent, raw, real with you guys and show you that some days, honestly, we hit more of our targets than others, and that is completely fine. Um, but I'm also already in my sweater because it's getting so chilly here. Someone actually posted on the previous uh, video that I uh, that, that person wrote, I wish it snowed here. I don't know where that person is from, but I'm just thinking like, no, no, no. If I could move to a warm climate, I most definitely would. But as of right now, this is where I am and I'm just accepting that and that's completely fine. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe go ahead and share this video with a friend, somebody that you would um, like to share it with. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.